Good morning, Jupiter Middle. I'm Lily Volter, and today is Wednesday, November 4th. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. Today marks the start of the second nine weeks. If you didn't make the grades you wanted last nine weeks, now is the start over date. Use your agenda, do your homework, ask questions, and do your homework. Eliminate distractions that keep you from being ready for school. And just a reminder about dress code. The dress code has been sent out numerous times connected to the e-blast, which goes out on Fridays for Miss Deal. Be sure to look over the dress code. Remember, detentions for dress code will be written, and that means you must serve it on the day of sign. What are some of the biggest violations that staff report? Remember, these aren't allowed. Gym shorts or pull-on shorts, including old team uniform shorts. No short skirts. Skirts can be no more than three inches above your knee when standing. No leggings at any time. No rips or tears in your jeans and pants. Tops must have collars or be a school-issued t-shirt. Sweatshirts must have a school-approved shirt underneath it. Yes, there's more. Check out the dress code attached to last Friday's e-blask. And just a reminder, today is National Candy Day. Probably because this day falls only a few days after Halloween, so make sure to enjoy your candy. Here's a fun fact. Not only are M&Ms the most popular candy in the United States, M&Ms are the most popular candy in the world. And now to Miss Hasty. Hi, Miss Hasty. Hi, Lily. I love some M&Ms too. They're a fabulous candy. Um, thank you for all the reminders, WJMS, about how we're starting this new quarter. So, um, Yes, to all of those study habits, all of the things you need to do to be successful. Part of being successful at your job, which is coming to school, is to be in dress code. I need you dressing for success. It's very important. And I'm especially glad that we're reminding everybody right now as we start second quarter and more students are joining us on campus. Don't forget an essential part of your dress code is your mask. And when you wear your mask, I want you to remember to wear it over your nose and over your mouth. All parts of your mouth and nose area need to be covered by that mask. It is a definite safety requirement. Students, as we see more and more students coming back to campus, I'm also going to need you to pay attention in the hallways to your space, okay? I need you developing more space, okay? And that may be, oh, well, I'll just hold back a second and let somebody else walk in front of me. However, we need to do it. I can't see students right next to each other walking in the hallways. I'm gonna always remind you to give yourselves some more space. So remember the masks and spacing out is really important for us all to safe, stay safe here on campus. All right. Here's to a great beginning of the second quarter with something to think about. This is Miss Hasty. Make it a great day or not. The choice is yours.